Hey there, folks. Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. For those of you that do not know me, I specialize in helping folks just like yourself all over the country navigate and get the most out of your higher ed retirement plan. So recently, I'd say within the last, oh, definitely within the last year, more specifically the last um, six months, I've been faced with questions from you, your colleagues out there. Uh, look, forgive me, let's start off with a little background here. So a lot of your TIAA accounts through your higher ed retirement plans. There's been some changes, some evolution going on in the retirement plans. Specifically for this video, we're talking about those mandatory retirement plans. This is where the acronyms and lingo get a little, little fuzzy here, but you have an RA contract, retirement annuity contract, map over to an RC, a retirement choice uh, contract. Inside that RC, a lot of you out there will have TI traditional accounts, a guaranteed account, by the way. That's earning up until January 31st of this year, which is 2023, getting 6.5% on new contributions. That's, that's a very attractive feature. That's why um, it, it's garnered some interest on some other questions around, around that TI traditional. So this is specific to the TI traditional inside the RC contract, lifetime annuity, lifetime income annuity option. We're going to... Quickly here, I got a client uh, that, that separates service. Uh, he's of age, he's retirement age. And so we're trying to decide what to do with that uh, TI traditional, okay? So he's married, has some kids, one, one kid, okay? So now there's some lingo here, some terms. I wanna just run by you here real quick. So what is a single life with 10 year guarantee? You may run across this, single life guarantee, single life with 10 year guarantee. What that means is that in this case, the husband, okay, gets the distributions from the TI traditional. The wife is covered up until 10 years. So if the husband passes away in year two, the wife gets eight years of remaining payments. And after 10 years, guess what? It's nothing, not up. Okay, the other one that is popular, joint life with 20 year guarantee. So joint life, meaning husband and wife, okay, are covered for joint life, for their life. So let's say, Husband dies, wife still gets the, the remaining payments, okay? The beneficiary in this case, the child is covered uh, for 20 years, okay? So in this case, uh, husband dies year two, wife lives another 25 years, that's 27 years of payments, the child gets nothing, okay? There's a 15 year um, choice as well. So in this case, we were looking at the joint, I got some things on my screen here, so get, uh, forgive me. We were looking at the joint uh, life. No, actually, let's do the single life. Let's make this simple. We're going we're, we're gonna to look at the single life annuity option where the wife uh, is covered within 10 years, okay, in case he predeceases her in that 10-year period. The amount that the client has in that TI traditional is $200,000. That would provide him 1131 give me a second, $1,131 per month of payments. Now, the question is, what if I didn't do that, took that money out and invested it? Okay. Well, let's just think about this logically. You take that $200,000, you put it in a, a very popular bond fund I use for my clients, which will remain nameless. I'll, we'll name it ABC. It's getting, let's just say simply 6% a year. Okay. And we can, you can divvy up amongst uh, investments, high dividend paying investments, plus high yielding interest bonds as well to provide you this income. So let's say we're getting 6%. Very simple calculation you can find online. If you put in $200,000 taking out 1,131, we're not, we're not calculating taxes, we're making this real, real simple, okay? Um, of course, both ways of distributions from the TIA traditional and what I'm talking about from what's called the income portfolio with my clients we do over at Charles Schwab, both will have uh, tax liability. You're looking at, uh, at the end of 30 years, with those distributions coming out, you're still looking at a pot of money, about $70,000, roughly. Now, the pros and cons, obviously the pro here is you're going to have a bucket of money upon you and your wife's death that you could give to your child an amount of around $70,000, give or take a little bit, of course. Um, the con, I guess you could say there is fluctuation with a bond slash high dividend paying investment right? Uh, but over the course of 30 years, 
you know, you tell me, is that thing going to uh, appreciate or, dip, or, or depreciate over 30 years? Okay. I'll let you make that decision for yourself. A lot of folks do like that uh, very secure, constant payment, which we provided by the TA traditional. They do have bump up bonuses, I believe, um, every now and again. And there are restrictions on the age of the beneficiaries, by the way. You can't have a child and they have, you know, a 15 year old child receiving this money over the course of their life or 10, 20 years is going to be uh, just more restrictions around that. So make sure you know what you're doing. Case in point here, I guess a lesson learned of this, when you're faced with these lifetime annuity, uh, lifetime income annuity options compared to other options out there, make sure you know your basis, make sure you talk to somebody that's a competent fee only financial advisor. I try to stay away, in my opinion, from those um, uh, TI CREF reps, great people, of course, very knowledgeable, but, but of course, they're gonna wanna keep you with their company, right? Folks, none of this is, is investment advice. Uh, don't construe it as such. Make sure you get help professionally before enacting any of these rules because most of the time they are irrevocable once you uh, pull that trigger. All right, folks, Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.